What's up, everybody? It's your boy. We are chasing sunsets. We're Steve and Jay. We are in Orlando, but we are, I don't know, I call this park Lake Ivanhoe Park, but I think it's called something else, but it's right on Lake Ivanhoe Street or Boulevard. <clears throat> it's a pretty decent park. Pretty good angles. So I'm gonna see what I can get. I drove past here Friday after leaving Lake Eola to get on I-4. And all of this was just flooded water. But two days have gone by and it looks like it's, the water's receded tremendously. So, but this shot right here with the shadow, if I can get it with those people, I like to get the people in the shot, something like that, or maybe like that, but let's see how it'll work. Let's see, that was a little bit too light. We'll see how it comes out, but you definitely have a lot of a lot of angles, especially with that light right there. That's pretty decent. Let me back up some. I think I found this. No, I was at an art show and somebody told me about this park. That's how I found out about it. Someone at the art show told me to come here for a sunset. And driving past it on I-4, I'm like, eh, whatever. But I eventually came, met a nice lady. Uh, that's a, an interesting story in itself, but see, I see there's some calm water down there. I'm tempted to go, but I wanna see what I can get with these trees. Look at this character of this tree right here. Man, with the cell phone, this is a decent shot. This is really a decent shot with the cell phone. And I don't know why it's coming all hazy. See that? Decent shot. I can probably capture it. With a pano shot. Oh, this is the... Sh I mean, the last time I was actually here, the sun was like way over on that side. So I'm curious to see what kind of angles I'm gonna get. But this table right here is where I got my chest idea. People in their trash, come on. And I wish I had my chest pieces right here. This would make a decent shot but I don't have my chest pieces, so I don't want to fool around. See what other angles I got. I think I see something up there where I got a lot of water. And this actually is not a bad shot, actually. Yeah, it's not a bad shot because you got this walkway right here curve you got the light so i try to hit something with the light so i'm gonna see what the reflection is gonna give me matter of fact careful people careful look at this shot right here that's awesome how you can see the top of the trees like that try it with an upright shot think it should come out pretty decent what time is it seven o'clock sunsets in 12 minutes but I got that bridge right there so see what I got here
I'm looking for something different, guys. I can't keep going that way. I got... I wish I can do something with this bench right here. They haven't cleaned this park up, but... Let's see. Might become a decent shot. Might become a decent shot, but I wanted to see what I can get from over on this end. Still soggy, of course. And yeah, I don't see a good shot from this angle at all. So let me pause it because I gotta go around this tree. Let's see if I can get a good shot in this tree right here. It's a pretty big tree. It's not like the mare tree, which is over 100 years old. Makes me wonder how old this tree is. But look at that. Again, that is a decent shot right there with that light. Let me see if I can get it. Let me pause it. Taking several shots from here. It's just not coming out how I want it. So let's see what we got right here. This might be a decent shot right here between these two oaks. Not a bad shot at all, actually. I just wish my camera wasn't acting up. Get me to take this shot, so let me pause. Well, the sun is set behind the bridge, at least, because it's only 7.05. I had to switch the camera to scene mode to see how it's coming out, because for some reason, my sensor is so screwed up right now that even in manual, it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. And that's really, really annoying. <laughs> okay, the mosquitoes are bugging me already. <laughs> Bothering me already. So, normally when my camera's acting up like this, I like to take multiple pictures, multiple shots, just to see what I can get. Now, these people are doing whatever they're doing, make a decent silhouette shot, especially if the sun was setting. And even trying to get that with the, uh... So, for me at this angle, the sun is already set, but you can still see there's light somewhere over there. I even, let me tell you how desperate I was at one point. The railroad tracks back there, I wanted to catch the sunset with the railroad and I waited and I waited and I waited and I waited and jack bone, no train. And the train while I was here was coming like every five minutes. So this might be a decent reflection shot. So let's see what we got. I love the shots where you can get ah oh, this is a hot shot right here definitely will be a hot shot because you got this reflection here with the skyline right now it's decent which means i gotta back up sensors acting up I think I know why. Hold on. Pause it. Somehow my ISO was set to automatic, and I think for auto, and I think that's what's screwing up my shot. But even back here with the grass, you definitely still got a, a really good shot. So hopefully it comes out right. See if I can get these people walking in it. That kind of, that's what I call an enhanced shot. If you can get people like that, and looks like we might have a framer here. We might have a frame shot right here. That's not a bad shot. 
Definitely not a bad shot. Oh, I love it. I love it. So I'm gonna walk over on the other side of Russell's. They actually have good food if you guys are ever. Oh, I just walked through the spider web. If ever on Lake Ivanhoe Boulevard, look up Russell's on Lake Ivanhoe. They have really good food, really good food. You gotta come at a pretty good time as they are packed most of the time. Oh, I can't, spider webs. So let me pause it. I'm gonna go over here on this side, see what I can get. So I just got this shot right here. I think it came out pretty good, but the angle I was looking for is over here. Okay. All this is still soggy and wet. I'm trying to see, I always try to look to see if the bench is a good place to get a shot. Man, this is how you know the water is still too high. I walked out on that deck when I was last here. So that tells you right there. You got the city backtrack right there. And go up a little bit. You got a good reflection. So you got a good reflection right there. Here, and you got the tree, the city line back there. So let me pause it, let me go over here. I'm sitting on a bench, and this right here is a decent shot. A good backdrop of, of Orlando with this reflection and with these trees right here. So right here, that tells a story, tells a story, tells a story, tells a story of, hey, I wanna to come to Orlando because I wanna see this view from here. I wish the sun sets over here, but it doesn't, it's over, it's over there but the sun never will get. I don't think how, I think, I don't know how far we'll get, but we'll see. So let me pause it so I can try to get this shot. All right, so I got a couple shots from this bench right there. Um, this is actually not a bad shot because you can actually see the moon a little bit. So I'm gonna see if I can definitely get, I like it, but the upright view, I don't get everything how I want. So let's see. Moon is too high. Yeah, the moon is still too high for the shot, but it's it's a really neat shot. It's really a neat shot. So let me see what I can do with it, because you still got that reflection over there. So even with the camera, I can't get everything. Shot came out okay, but let's see what we got up here. One thing about photography, if you're really into it, you'll get your steps in. So if your goal is 10,000 steps, you start like an hour before sunset, walking around. Oh, this is a hot shot through this palm trees right here. But you'll get your 10,000 steps, that's for sure. So. Well, if you guys want to know the name of this park, here it is. <laughs> Gaston Edward Park. Ooh, I think I just had a good idea for a shot. Thank you, Gaston. I don't see any gators. Nothing whatsoever. So look at that right there. That's pretty decent. Let me pause it, see if I can get it. Tree City right there. So hopefully the shot came out pretty decent. I'm worried about my other shots with the ISO set to auto everything. Just hopefully. But look at that. 
if I can get that in the shop, but with this view right here, you got the tree roots, lake, buildings, highway right there. That is a darn good shot. You know what would be hot? This is only gonna be a cell phone shot, but there's a truck. And I was thinking, if I can get the truck and the shot, that would be great. And I got it. I just like little things like that. So this shot right here, look at the reflection you got right here. Orlando, again, this is a framer right here. Cell phone and camera if I can get it. So let's see what I can get. This is a good shot right here. Only because that light is the moon. You got the tree, the leaves, and you got the city and you got the reflection. So hopefully, this shot comes out how I want it. So let me pause it. So I got the shot with these two ducks coming by. So I think that's gonna be it. What time is it? 7.24. Yeah, I think this might be my last shot. Careful. Oh, it's a decent shot. But what makes it different from the other ones? I'm going to try to get the shot like this. If I can zoom in and get it like that. That will be a decent shot. So let me pause so I got a couple shots in there. I think I'm done. I don't think there's any additional shots that I need to get unless I see something on this way back, which does happen, which does happen. But I don't see, as they say, anything to write home about. So we'll see, one sec. Sometimes from the other side of the lake, you can catch this building with a good reflection. It's pretty cool. But pretty much walking back, I'm not seeing anything. That's like, hey, take my picture. So heading back to the car. If I see something, I will jump back on and say like and subscribe. But guys, please like and subscribe. Yeah, please like and subscribe. I actually got this shot right here and posted it on well, Orlando's social media page. Posted the shot, which was pretty cool. I've done the deal, so. So I'm gonna head back to my car. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks again. I just got this shot. Hopefully it came out right, but my sensor still acting up again if one of you guys want to bless me with a new camera I'll take it <laughs> uh. let me pause it this bench right here if there was nothing there would be a great shot well tech this i really mean it this time this does look like that's all i'm gonna get as far as shots so guys please hit that like and subscribe button and oh man i i i, I uh was uploading my uh, lake yola video from friday today and i saw online Let's see if I can flip it. That, I got six, subs oh my God, all those mosquitoes. I got, oh my God, more mosquitoes. Oh my God, more. I got six subscribers so far. So, to the six subscribers, thank you so much. And I did get an alert that somebody commented on one of the parks that I was at, that they, when they're in the area, they visit that park. So that's kind of cool to know. Nah, it's too dark. 
that's the one thing about Florida. Delaware, I never ever heard anything rustling through the weeds or the brushes and the bushes or anything like that. Never ever, not during fall, not during winter, nothing. But here in Florida, oh my God, Lord knows what it can be. So guys, thanks again. Minutes, please hit that like and subscribe button. I'm getting my steps in Lake Ivanhoe Park or I'm gonna call it Lake Ivanhoe Park even though it's Gaston something park so but Lake Ivanhoe on Lake Ivanhoe Road makes so much more sense than Gaston Park so have a blessed day I'll see you on the chase tomorrow